بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everybody Welcome again to a new video in the other academy uh, I will show today a case of, of a modified extra capsular cardiac surgery as I like to call it I don't like the name of modern extra capsular because it is not actually a modern surgery but just a modified technique for the extra capsular cardiac surgery with less stages. Uh, so I can call it with less stages, not sutureless, because it's still with stages, even if one stitch. Uh, also at the same time, uh, I don't prefer to do a caps extra capsular surgery as most of the newer surgeons uh, either the juniors or the, uh, the, the seniors today to do extra capsular cardiac surgery through a cordial incision. So it is, it's, it's not wise, I, I, I think, because the extra capsular cardiac surgery should be still classic with a limbal incision. So let's go for the video. I will incise the posterior limbus. This patient with a with extensive panis. So I just uh, placed my incision through the posterior limbus transconjunctively without incision or of the, um, the conjunctive that would be inside by my blade. So I'm doing the middle of the section now. This is the, the, the track, or this is the message of the surgery to do a lamellar incision. Uh, 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 the corneoscleral incision with the lamellar dissection all through the wound. So you will have a two coapting laps. Uh, it's not long, it's not short to, to keep the self sealing property for this wound. So I'm doing now the uh, caps lot of me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a such classic surgery. Now I'm doing the completion of the, uh, 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 to, to open the incision with the scissor. Now I'm delivering with the preferred way to press at six o'clock, to tumble the nucleus, and then you will put the other instrument with sustained down pressure to deliver an ease. Now the other fragments, I put I pour them away on a side in the anterior chamber and put the the uh, P M M A I L in the bag and rotate it under these fragments. Put it to be a scaffold to protect the capsule, uh, the posterior capsule, from any uh, stretching or any insult with the irrigation aspiration, and then put this central stage at 12 o'clock. It's just one stitch and you will see that this stitch will be very helpful and almost enough for to, to seal the bond which was eight millimeter length. Then the irrigation aspiration to express and aspirate the the cortical matter and the cortex, uh, sorry, the nuclear matter and the cortex uh, remained inside the eye. As you see, it's well about the iris prolapse, the stitch was not tight enough or not secure enough. So I will place it again, seen with, with, with more uh, uh, centralized position and with better. Uh, tension. So almost I finished my case within a few minutes and I will hydrate the bones on each side and look at the the iris. It's in place, there is no iris prolapse and there's a very big uh, air bubble filling the anterior chamber and I tested the bond by the candle at the end, but it was stable and self sealed wound. So 
it's a very uh, easier technique with less stages with good visual outcome after the patient came to my clinic after uh, two days after the surgery with well formed anterior chamber uh, the, the regular regular uh, uh, rounded and narrow pupil and the vision was very good with astigmatism of minus two cylinder at the X of the stage and they will remove the stage uh, after three weeks from the surgery or even one month no problem and thank you very much for watching and I, I, I hope it's very it, it was a beneficial video for all of you bye bye see you